Hey everybody, got my 8 inch Ion Alpha. This is actually the plus model with the composite auger blade. Got this in November of 2022. Took it out, used it one time. Was able to drill five holes with it and it quit working. I'll uh, have a clip here in a little bit that'll show you actually what it's not doing. And uh, so we called in to ION. Their warranty team reviewed it and they have entrusted me to make the warranty repair, repair on this. We'll do this wonderful little box here in a moment that's got the new board in it. But so great support, was able to get the parts in less than a week from ION. So kudos to them. Um, but yeah, so we're going to take this guy apart today. So I'm going to walk you through all that. All right, so here's the auger. Just going to show you guys quick what it's doing and or not doing. So got a battery. See there, fully charged. Put her into the slot. Lock it in place. So now on these, you should be able to push the safety in and then hit your trigger and it should engage. In this case, it's not. You can see, oh, we do have power. The light on the LED underneath is coming on. So, no go. Just to illustrate a point, we're gonna take second battery that came with this unit, which two batteries is never a bad thing to have. So it's nice that that's included. Show you that one also fully charged lock her in turn the little latch good to go safety zip nothing again you can see the LEDs on so warranty has sent me out a replacement control board for this which is right here behind this. So we're gonna have to replace that. All right, well, get that out of here. There it is, in all its glory. Now you will have to save the catch for the battery lock here. And you do have to do a couple things with the LEDs as well, but we'll cross that bridge once we start taking things apart. All right, so next thing we gotta do is take the battery, I think they call it a battery bumper off. It's held on with two five millimeter hex bolts. So just back those out and get it out of the way. over there and this slides right off okay now here flip her around Oops. probably be nice if I quit kicking the tripod now we're going to take this back cover off and this is geez, three mil I believe, yeah, you know, yep, all right. Let's just back these out. All right, so pretty much here going forward, I'm gonna apologize if the video gets a little sloppy or choppy or I'm not saying a whole ton, 
I'm kind of going to do this in real time just in case something does not work or I'm not sure. Anytime you're taking something apart, it's always a good idea to take pictures of what you did or what it looked like beforehand. Uh, I'm going to kind of use this video as that um, record <laughs> in case I screw something up. Um, I will say I had mixed feelings about the whole here we're just going to send you the part put it in yourself um, I mean these are not free by any stretch of the imagination but also kind of cool that they trusted me to do this they did send a video along in an email of how to do this um, if I have to grab my laptop I might stop the video just to rewatch it but didn't look too complicated but those are like famous last words right so you can see the it's got is that six screws in there um, another reason why these t-handle wrenches are so much nicer for working with these hex head bolts I don't think I'd really want to go ahead and tear after this with like a cordless impact. I mean, this is just a, a plastic circuit board cover and that kind of stuff. So it doesn't seem like it's a good idea. One thing I did not take into account for is my serial number is on there and is not on here. Interesting. Sorry, right, so this should just flip away. Good. It looks like we're hung up on this one down here a little bit. Make sure these are all the way out. Yep, we're going to need to find those. <laughs> Let's see, I have two in my hand. There's one in the unit. So I need to find three. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. All right. Got all my stuff picked up and found. So you can see we've got a few connectors here we're going to need to deal with so eventually we want this to look like that so let's go ahead take this piece out just slides in and so these you just push down have too big of a screwdriver here let's see maybe I'll start with this one oh yep yeah. was making it too hard for myself Real easy, you don't even need to use anything other than a fingernail. Okay, so those, is this still connected to? Um, interesting. So that's that one. Okay, well there's no clip that I can see 
on these red and black wires that go back up into the handle. I'm assuming that's either the reverse or the safety, something like that. So one, two, three, four. Oh, no, they're zip tied into this loom right here. Okay, that's what I was missing. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to take this zip tie out. Um, and then this big connector here is also zip tied together, so we're gonna have to take that off. If I can get at it here, it's kind of in a, it's like anything. There we go. This one just pulls out, and I don't really want to get too close to these wires, but let's get that one out of here, too. All right. So, <clears throat> there we go. So, I'm going to set this aside for a second. All right, we got the new one and the old one. So... Red, white, and black goes to this piece, which is the LED ballast, I believe. And this should just pull out. I think. And something from the other side, maybe. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to go reference the video on this piece. I don't exactly recall, but I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, well, sorry it didn't happen on camera, but to get the LED harness piece out you just got to refund it a little bit um, but it came out pretty easy so let's just start putting stuff back together I believe that and then this fits back into the new slot here just like where it came out of and just kind of slide her in place and your battery lock handle goes in catch down just like that turns to the side all right so out with the old in with the new so we'll pull the power head back over make sure you guys can see that no you really can't so we'll move this down a little bit this way there we go uh, from here it's just connect everything back together thankfully most of these connectors are pretty simple to figure out so the big guy goes together start with that one uh, let's see here those should go together all right, red, black, red, black. Big multi-loom here. Like that. And then the last piece right there. So, everything is connected back up. You could zip tie this big connection back together like it came from the factory. Um, I'm not going to do that just yet. And then everything just... Kind of fits back in there, theoretically. Let's see what it'd be. I don't want to just kind of jam all this wiring back into this space, make sure it fits. So I'll put, hmm, seems like those wires 
bind up a little bit. Hmm. Well, it came out of there. It'll go back in there, right? Famous last words. Want to just jam it in a hole here? So let's. Seems like this piece is the one that's causing the most trouble, but if I get that down there, one right way, yep. It's not a fun with Flandy video until I struggle with something, right? There's this rib right here that this is catching on, so this has got to go below that. Try a stupid little move here and give her a twist. It seems like it lines up way better. How about that? Okay, that's there. And just thread these bolts back on. And it doesn't specify any kind of tightening pattern on this. So I'm just going to kind of treat this similar to like putting in a cylinder head. <laughs> just kind of go opposites until you get it kind of locked in. That's where you go. Obviously, this did not come with any torque specs for these bolts, but it's okay. This last one started, and then I can go around and start really kind of tightening this up. I don't have anything pinched in any of the gaps around the seal here, so that's good. Just bring these in here, and hopefully we will have a working ice auger. Should be nice. Ice has been weird on the lakes this year with all the snow and slush and hot and cold. I ain't trying to get through that with a hand auger. I know this is making very exciting television or YouTube videoing for you, watching me screw around with some screws. But like I said, I'm just gonna shoot this real time as much as I can in case something isn't working. I can go back and see, or if I have to do further warranty exchange on this, say, hey, you guys sent me a video. Well, here's a video of what I did. Did I do it wrong? I don't know. It's pretty unusual in today's day and age where they trust you to actually go inside the case of anything. locked down so we're gonna throw battery on this and hopefully she works Oops. Uh, doesn't go in if the latch is like that obviously and, well moment of truth here I'm gonna back the camera up a little bit Let's see if she runs. 
Look at that. That's what we wanted. So there we go. We now have a working power head. I'm going to go ahead and put the battery bumper back on, put the auger and blade back on the bottom, and uh, hopefully catch some fish. Uh, drop a like and a comment below if you have questions. I just kind of making this up as I go along here with this. I had the guidance from the company, and I don't really like this ending, but it is what it is. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.